All right, what is going on? Today we're going to be taking a look at this Batmobile tricycle for kiddos if you're in the market for something a little more manual, not the electric powered one, but actually something that gets the kids out to do some exercise. Hopefully this video can help you out. I'm going to show you how to put it together and just a quick review. Let's get started. Here is it. Here it is out of the box, really well wrapped. And I won't say this is a very inexpensive purchase. It comes with lots of metal parts and plastic parts. Here's a visual tour for you. Again, right out of the box. No dings, no scratches. Painted plastic, everything seems to be well made and of high quality. Of course, this is right out of the box where it looks brand spanking new and is brand spanking new. So how it holds up to the test of time, we will see. But here are the parts. Everything is labeled really clearly in the instructions. So here's how you put it together. There's a couple of plastic wing tips on the end of the axles. You're going to want to pop those off and then put on a washer. And there's a couple different sizes of washers that are included. You'll put this one on first. And again, you can read the instructions, the manual, I'll put a link down in the description below as to this specific Batmobile tricycle, not really a tricycle, but this cool Batmobile like bike has four wheels, not three. So anyway, put another washer on and then the nut and then tighten it up with the provided tool. You do need a screwdriver to complete installation. You'll see that in another step, but everything else is included. So here is the other wheel and you can pretty much do this with one hand. You'll put that washer on, then the wheel, then the other washer, and then the, the lock nut on top of that and hand tighten. Go ahead and give it a pretty good, pretty good turn until it stops turning and that lock nut should prevent it from un, unthreading later on. Here's the other axles now with the wheel. Now the back axles do not have a washer that goes on first. It's just the wheel and then the washer on the outside of the wheel, followed by the lock nut as shown. And then you can go ahead and tighten that down. And one little tip as you tighten down the back wheels, you'll need to hold the pedal into place with your leg or something because as you turn it tight, it will spin the wheel and spin the pedal as a consequence since the pedals obviously activate the back wheels. So hold that pedal down and it should tighten up. Now the last, the right back wheel has uh, again, no washer that goes on first. So you'll slide the wheel over and all of the wheels have these little two little grooves, but only the back right one has um, these little uh, two pieces of metal that stick out. You can see it right there and they lock into those two grooves. So it really doesn't matter which wheel goes on, um, but because all of them will fit on that back, but make sure that's into place. Otherwise you won't have enough thread sticking out here to get that lock nut down. So you'll put the washer on on the outside of the wheel and then the lock nut and tighten that down as well. Next, we'll take this piece and we'll orient it just like this and we'll put this on the front and there are four screws that are or holes through this top piece and you're gonna put these long screws with the washer and the nut just like that. But you gotta take the washer and the nut off first, obviously, and you'll slide those long screws down and then you'll take this little washer a really small washer and a really small nut and get a better view here for you. You'll slide it down and on the underside you'll put the washer on over the screw and then the nut after that. And here's where you're, where you're going to need a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to hold that in place and then take the provided tool, find the correct setting on the provided tool and hold that nut in place while you twist on the screwdriver and tighten that all the way up or you can hold the screwdriver down in place and then twist the with the provided tool on the bottom there whichever you prefer should do the job you get a little more torque if you hold the top with the screwdriver and don't twist the screwdriver but twist from the bottom with using the provided screw or tool and we'll get all four of those tightened up. Next, we're gonna be applying the provided stickers to this plastic Batmobile outer shield piece. This is pretty neat. 
Not exactly easy. I wish they would have uh, provided this already, put that here these for you, but maybe part of the joy of doing this is adhering them yourself. So you, with the instructions, you put them in the correct place. It's really easy to do, and you might be off a little bit. I didn't get it perfect, but it was definitely good enough. Next, we're gonna take this piece and it's gonna slip on to the front just like this. There should be two plastic kind of guides on the top and they rest in and that allows the bottom like this to pop into place. So you kind of got to orient it a little bit and then you should hear it click, and snap, and the same with the right side. So left and right side should click into place on the front and it should be now installed and sturdy and looking much like the Batmobile. Next, we're gonna tilt it on its side. We're gonna take this very long piece, there's a threaded end, not the loop end, and we're gonna stick it through this hole and you're gonna see where it kind of is gonna sit. This is the actual steering mechanism. You might need to wiggle it just a little bit because you wanna get that loop, get it in the picture, secure just like that. And then you should see the threaded side pop out and we're gonna be putting the steering wheel on that grab the provided materials. Now here's the lock nut, but you need to put the steering wheel on first and then you'll put the lock nut on after. You can't just put the lock nut on right. So we're gonna put the steering wheel on now. That If the steering wheel has this silver metal piece, you're gonna to need to pop that out from the backside. So take a screwdriver and there's two little gray pins, pop, pop, and then you should be able to pull that or push that out like that. So you want that bare metal there showing and you're gonna put the steering wheel on the threaded nut part like this. And you're gonna to need to hold the bottom part with your left hand as you put on, otherwise you're gonna push that threaded nut down through and you'll have to do it again. So hold it into place like this and then with your right hand just put the steering wheel on and then take the provided lock nut and you will tighten that down with the provided tool as tight as you can probably get it. I did it and just until I couldn't turn it anymore. I didn't grunt or anything. Just really, really snug. Those lock nuts should prevent it. And then you'll, from loosening up, and then you'll put that uh, metal plate back on. Next, we're gonna install the seat. This is also extremely easy. You put the seat over the, the top part and it does slide. I wish the adjustments were a little easier. You'll see what I mean here. You'll take the provided bolt slide it through the top of the ceiling of the of the seat piece and it should seat nicely there now this is kind of weird there's a washer you put on and then another washer that you put on and then you put on this little plastic twisty knob thing that allows supposedly easy adjustment so the seat does allow you to adjust it from three different positions, pushing it forward, middle, or all the way back, depending on how long your kid's legs are, right? However, when you go to adjust it, it's not easy because you have to take off the nuts or the little washers each time, right? So you have to, it's not just a quick adjustment. You have to actually take off the, the washers, make sure you don't lose them. They're very small pieces, right? And then readjust it. However, it is very secure and it's not gonna back off accidentally through vibrations. So, and you'll hand tighten those black knobs, twisty knobs down on both sides and the seat should be extremely secure. And this is your final product. Pretty cool. So here's the final shot and we'll actually boot this up. Now again, this is not an electric bike or tricycle, it's a manual, right? So you actually have to pedal. We intentionally bought this because we did not want, well, we just wanted our kid to get more exercise outside. He, had, he has to work for it a little bit. All right, so here it is outside. And a highly recommended purchase overall and easy to put together. Hopefully many years of fun ahead. Hopefully this video has helped you out. Click the like button if it has, and don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos like this. Thanks.